for an electric current to flow through a conductor, it is necessary to apply a voltage to its ends, since it creates an electric field inside the conductor that makes charges move. It's like pushing water through a thin pipe with a lot of resistance. The greater the pressure difference at the ends of the pipe, the more water flows through it per unit of time. To see how this happens, we take a thin and long syringe needle and push air through it instead of water. Put additional loads on the piston. Draw some air into the cylinder and close the tap. Let go of the piston and we can observe how under the influence of excessive pressure the air is gradually flowing out through the needle. Repeating the experiment with different loads, we plotted the graph of airflow versus overpressure. It can be seen that the airflow is directly proportional to the applied pressure. Can it be possible that the electric current in the conductor is proportional to the applied voltage? The first person who investigated the relationship between these two quantities was a German physics teacher Georg Ohm. His installation was very complex and used the latest achievements of contemporary science. In our experiment, we use a voltage source with built-in devices that measure voltage and current. At the voltage of 1 volt, the current of 0.15 ampere flows through the coil. If we increase the voltage to 2 volts, the current becomes 2 times greater. At the voltage of 3 volts, the current increased 3 times. At the voltage of 10 volts, the current increased 10 times and equaled 1.5 ampere. Ohm's law, in the strict sense, is a direct proportional relationship between the current flowing through the conductor and the voltage applied to its ends. Let's set the voltage at the source to 2 volts. The current of 0.3 ampere flows through our coil. Now we will replace this coil with another one with fewer turns and a thicker wire. The current of 1.4 ampere flows through this coil at the same voltage, which is 4.5 times greater. So it can be said that this coil has 4.5 times less resistance. Thus, the resistance of a conductor R is the ratio of the voltage U applied to the ends of the conductor to the current I flowing through it. This formula for Ohm's law can be rewritten in two other ways. In order to find the current, we need to divide the voltage by the resistance. In order to find the voltage, you have to multiply the current by the resistance. All these three formulas can be represented in one diagram. Voltage equals current multiplied by resistance. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. And finally, resistance equals voltage divided by current. By the way, if you set the source voltage to 10 volts and wait for a few minutes, the current flowing through the coil will decrease slightly which means its resistance will increase. Why do you think this is happening? Write your thoughts on this in your comments to our video on YouTube.